What's up guys? I'm finally going to sit down and film a quick makeup tutorial for all of you who keep asking and I'm sorry it's taken me forever a couple years I don't know it's been a while so I'm sorry there are a couple different factors why I have taken so long to finally sit down and do something like this now I've wanted to I keep saying oh I'm filming and I'm filming it and then I don't because first and foremost I am super self-conscious about my bottom <gasps> teeth talking makeup being crooked Maddie's here excuse her and although I am doing Invisalign I still I, I did take it out for you guys because I'm not going to talk with a lisp during this you're welcome but even though I am doing the Invisalign and even if I wasn't it doesn't matter but there are still mean people out there who are going to try and make somebody feel bad about themselves so I decided whatever it's just teeth. It's not the end of the world. There are people out there who are starving. So who cares? And then the next thing is I keep having all of these ideas and I'm writing everything down and I feel like I need to just do something so great for a video and I feel like nothing's ever good enough, but decided whatever. Like I said earlier about my teeth, whatever. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So here we are. And this is, um, I'm in, still in my pajamas. Sorry. We're getting ready to go to John Mayer tonight. I'm so excited. You have no idea. Ah! My hair looks really ratchet right now. I sincerest apologies. I threw in a couple curls for you guys because you're special to me, you know? Um, but I'm just gonna do like a quick everyday makeup tutorial. Like I'm not gonna go all out with contouring and all that shenanigans like baking and all that stuff because I'm really not that great at it and I look creepy. So um, I'm just gonna start off with foundation. I already prepped my skin. I'm do I did use the Sicily primer that Jaclyn Hill so kindly recommended and I ran to Nordstrom to buy it. You obviously don't need to spend $200 on a primer. That's unnecessary, but I really wanted to try it. So whatever. Anyways, you with this primer, what you really need to do is moisturize your skin a lot before you use it because then it will really be able to work like it's supposed to. But like I said, you don't have to spend $200 on a primer. You can easily go to First Aid Beauty and get this one that skin smoothie priming moisturizer love this stuff smells amazing and in, i have sensitive dry skin so it works for me um also i really love the laura mercier primers i think they are a little bit more expensive than the first aid beauty but way less than the sicily but if you're feeling a splurge and you've been saving for something new in your beauty cabinet repertoire then go with the sicily i like it a lot so far and if you don't like it, just return it and try something new. Anyways, I'm going to go in with my favorite, Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion. This is, I believe it's 12 hour and it's long wearing, which is why I'm going to do it today because we are going to the concert and it's still early and I want to be able to have my makeup wear all day. And I am the color 2N2 Linen right now. We'll see if I look like an Oompa Loompa. And I'm going to go in with my it Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Brush. buffing foundation brush from it cosmetics because it's really soft and it blends amazing and my problem some OCD with blending it take a very long time for blending so when I use a beauty blender it literally takes me like 20 minutes not literally I'm getting a little bit dramatic there but it takes me forever to blend perfectly so that all the little spots and everything are out and this really just it doesn't absorb the foundation obviously like a beauty blender because it's not a sponge so you're using less product and it's blending out really really nicely I really like this um, foundation a lot because it has a matte finish without making you look dry and cakey it is ultra long wearing but it doesn't oxidize that is like my selling point with this foundation because when I bought the Dior forever it took me about three or four tries I'm being serious with that uh, to go back and get my skin matched properly because it does oxidize and it gets darker and then I 
I'm, I don't know if you, whoever is watching heard my story on Instagram stories. Um, Chris and I get in the car and we're taking photos. I get in, open the mirror, getting, you know, like myself back, put back together because I've changed my clothes three different times. And we're on our last look and I open up the mirror and I literally breathless. Like my heart dropped to my butthole and my face was orange. Okay. Like a Cheeto puff orange. And my skin was white. My neck was white. It was, it was a very low moment in my life. I, um, I, I looked at Chris and I was like, dude, he's like, you were watching so many makeup tutorials last night that I thought you were trying something new and I didn't want to hurt your feelings. I'm like Christopher, like nobody tries orange as new. So I learned my lesson on that foundation very quickly. I'm still like on the fence about it. I don't know if I love it, love it. So that's why I'm not doing a makeup tutorial with it. I have used this for a while and I love it every time I use it and it doesn't oxidize. It's long wearing. It doesn't smudge. It's water, sweat, and um, humidity proof. Like it doesn't transfer. I love it. It's good. It's good, girl. So I think I'm going to mix a little bit with this color because I'm not as dark as I was when I got that color with a little bit of my Dune just to lighten it up just a tinsy. And you can see that I'm only using tiny little dots when I do put it on. I'm not using a lot. You really don't need a lot with this foundation. After foundation, I'm going to use a little bit of concealer, just a little bit. And today I'm going to be using one of my favorites. This will be in my uh, favorites beauty blog post where I put in all of my foundations, concealers, bronzer, blush, highlighter, brows, everything all into one blog post so that you can go back for reference and see like everything that I like because nobody has just like one favorite. Anyways, this is the NARS Radiant Creamy concealer and I use the color custard. I'm just going to use a little bit. Just to brighten up my eyes just a little. This is my beauty blender and a little bit of the Caudalie, Caudalie, however you pronounce that. I apologize if I'm saying it wrong. The beauty elixir. I love this stuff. So I'm just gonna smile and dot this of all. Rap will make head stop blending. <laughs> So this is Laura Mercier in Bronze 2, my favorite one I've ever used. It's a nice, soft color, creates a beautiful, luminous glow, and it's not super dark and crazy. So I'm just going to do that like right here, just a little bit. Just a little bit of definition, not a lot, because I don't want to look like too dark. Blend in my blush, and now my favorite, favorite part is the highlight. That and brows. That and brows. So Becca Cosmetics, I was in Sephora and I recently found out about the Champagne Pop like a year later than everyone else. I'm so sorry, but I'm happy that I found it. This is what it looks like. Can you see? Can you see that stunningness? Oh my God. Now, I did get a tip from one of my readers to, if I want more of like a pigment, to spritz my brush or whatever I'm using with um, Fix Plus. I still didn't go and get that. I'm so sorry. Um, but I'm going to use my Caudalie, Caudalie, I can't, I don't know if, which one it is, spray. Very light hand because I'm not getting crazy today. I'm not getting crazy today. I might get crazy today, actually. Just kidding. And it's like so light that you're barely touching your face because too much make you look like you got punched in the face. Especially if it's not blended right. God, I'm giving me everything. 
Tinsy at the top, Tinsy at the top, on the nose, Tinsy on the nose, Tinsy here, Tinsy there, just a little, little, a little something, a little some extra flavor. Feeling like this is good so far. Okay, so my problem, I've been looking back at my photos and I've been like crazy embarrassed by how much I used to color in my brows and you're not supposed to color your brows in really dark. I didn't realize that at the time. I was just like, it was new to me. I was going crazy. I was loving it. So instead what I do now with my brows, instead of filling them in really dark and crazy, I like to, like I did earlier, I brushed them out nice and, go and good. And I'm only going to fill in where crap slime, um, where I really need to instead of going everywhere. This is the It Cosmetics Brow Power. I have the bigger version, but the tiny one is all I can find right now. And I'm using the Universal Taupe. My favorite. I used to use the Anastasia Brow Definer and I'm still not mad at it, but I did try this and I loved it a lot. So I repurchased that instead. Also a new to me product for my brows is the It Cosmetics Brow Pomade, Brow Power Pomade. This will make your brows stay in place and not move around and just stay perfect. So I'm gonna splash a little bit of that on there. Tansy. funny because this brow really loves me and this one hates me like just a college dropout might have even been a high school dropout okay now on to my eyes my favorite palette ever in the whole world whole world I talk about this all the time it might be annoying now I'm sorry it's the best palette I've ever tried I'm not a makeup guru I'm not a makeup artist so maybe that's why I love it but it's Sigma warm neutrals And I'm going to go in with my Sigma blending brush. This is the number E25. And I always take this light color first. It's like a, a first like little coat. And use the color Mild Mannered. Now, I learned this trick. I was watching a makeup tutorial on Facebook. I believe it was a Chanel makeup artist. And she said, do your crease with your eye kind of open so that when you open your eye, um, it's in like really where the crease is supposed to be. And I thought that was so freaking brilliant. I started doing it. I'm not claiming it as my idea. But it was really brilliant. And then you kind of just blend out a little bit out here. Like I said, I want something really, really soft and natural today. Can you even tell? Probably not. Okay, so this is the Wander Beauty. It's called the Exquisite eye liquid shadow in bronze and I'm going to put a little bit on my lower lid and blend. This is similar to my Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize cream eyeshadow that I use, but this is a little bit lighter and less brown. And I like it because it gives you a nice subtle glow. Uh, I'm not a glitter kind of a gal. I apologize. I don't really like glitter, but I like a little bit of a shimmer. So this is a nice happy medium. Okay, am I glowing and summery yet? You've heard me talk about it a million times. I get questions all the time on what mascara it is. So here we go. There's three, top three. Very first one, It Cosmetics Superhero. 
This stuff is my holy grail, literally the superhero of my glam box. I use this every single time I do my eyes, whether I use it first or last, it doesn't matter. It's amazing. Next up, Maybelline Lash Sensational. This stuff is, you need to go to CVS, you need to order it from Ulta, whatever you need to do, you need to go get it right now because it's amazing. And I use the, let's see what color, I don't know, it's black, sorry. And then I recently tried, I didn't like it the very first time and then um, a lot of my readers were saying, you need to try it, it's really great. So I gave it another shot and I like it a lot as long as I layer it with it, I can't use it alone. But it is the, is this L'Oreal? Yep, it's L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. <sighs> Sorry, I'm like really not good at this whole like showing a product thing. Anyways, today I'm gonna show you how I normally do it. And first I always start with my It Cosmetics Superhero. After the A Cosmetics Superhero, we're going to do the Maybelline Lash Sensational. You can use this before the A Cosmetics or after. I don't know if it matters. I tried it both ways and I couldn't really tell, but I have heard from some people that they could tell a difference. Okay. How big are my lashes right now, guys? Do they look good? I always finish off after I have done my face with the Caudalie, Caudalie, again, I'm sorry, I still can't say it. I don't know, nobody's told me yet. The video hasn't ended and I haven't uploaded. Um, it's the Beauty Elixir as like a setting my skin. Really get it in there, guys. Like you really need a lot of it. Okay, so the last thing I do are my lips. I first, when I'm moisturizing and priming my skin before I do my makeup, I always use my Fresh Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Treatment. This stuff is amazing. My lips are literally still moisturized and I have a problem where I will put moisturizer on my lips and then lip balm, whatever, and then at the end, I'm like, oh my God, my lips are dry again. So now I have to wait for that to like sink in a little bit. Anyways, I'm gonna use my favorite, favorite combination right now. The other day on Instagram, everyone was asking, and it's so easy. This is by Charlotte Tilbury, and it's the Lip Cheat, and the color is Pillow Talk. Now, it's a lip liner, but I put it all over my lips um, like as like a starter color. Okay, that's the Lip Cheat. I love it, it's amazing, it's beautiful. It's like a nice, natural, neutral pink color. And then this is by It Cosmetics and it's called the Je Ne Sais Quoi and the color is rose. And it's like a, a lip treatment, but it um, gives you the color based off like your lips, whatever, I'm not a scientist. I didn't read it before, I'm so sorry. I should have read like what exactly it does before I film this. But it makes you your own special color, I'm pretty sure. If I'm wrong, that will be super embarrassing. It's all good because it's just makeup and it's not the end of the world. Is that not the best combo? I had like a burp coming and I didn't want to burp on camera and it just came out really weird, sorry. So that is the end of this. I'm gonna to have to try and go and fix my disaster of a hairdo whatever is going on here before we go to John Mayer because I want to take a picture there. I want to take an OOTD and be cool and hip with it because I don't ever get to leave the house and I'm always home with my kids and it's just like weird to run out and take an Instagram picture every day. So this is my look for the day and I hope that you enjoyed it. I, If you have any questions, please reach out to me, email, leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel. I will start doing more videos because I have just decided, like I said earlier, forget about it, forget about it, forget about it. I don't know how to say that. Um, whatever. Don't comment on my teeth or my crooked nose because I'm not perfect and neither are you. I don't know how to blink. I'm sorry, guys. Anyways, thank you for watching and sitting here through this. I applaud you if you made it through the whole thing. And I love you guys.